take a moment in the quiet moment in the shop here and thought we'd tell a little bit of the story of the truck and I'm standing over here because this uh, the cab is over there with my son in it but I'm standing next to the the driver door driver's door here it's laying upside down for you all but the reason why I'm over here is one of the neat things about this truck and why I call it a true Kansas truck is after my father-in-law had sold it to some folks nearby a, uh, a tornado came and dropped the building around this old truck and the only thing that was damaged on it and you can't even see it of course because we fixed it but it ripped the mirror off and caved in a little bit of the sheet metal right behind here where the mirror hole is on the driver's side door um, and so that's all been fixed but the truck has uh, has had a, a pretty good Kansas upbringing from that and so there's my son in the cab so a lot of the work that we did a lot of these old trucks had some common problems here and we'll walk through some of the work that we've done on this one so far so there's my son he's almost five well he's going on 15 but one of the common spots that these trucks have problems is there's a support cross member under here that dirt blows up on top of and it gets held on there with water and it just starts rotting and it takes the floor pan with it clear out here to to your door sill and and, uh, and rocker panel and tread plate there the other spot that it does and we've still got a little bit of rust here to fix and fill but the cab mount is right behind here yeah put your hand down there that's wonderful um, the cab mount is right behind there and it collects dirt and holds it against it as well and both of these spots were a problem on this truck on both sides but we've since taken care of that and fixed it once we fixed that as well we took and we sprayed a uh, an all over-the-counter um, bed liner material it's a u-pole raptor liner um, got it on Amazon it was a bit over hundred bucks for four liters of it and it included the spray gun for it I've used three of them and I've done the entire bottom of the cab and up the front inside of here and I've also done the inner fender that mounts here I've done the inside of those inner fenders they're sitting over there on the other side primed and, and bed linered on one side and ready to, to get chassis black painted on everything so we've got one liter left of it and we'll probably do the inside of the wheel wells um, on the bed with that one liter it'll do it'll do both sides of those and the inside of the fender there and it may even do I'm really considering doing the metal at the back end over there that'll be behind the wheel wells because it gets a lot of dirt thrown up into it so um, and again the thought the truck belonged to my father-in-law and we used it to harvest wheat we ran it as a of all things a half ton truck we went ran it as a fuel truck and you see those that white and that red fuel fuel uh tank sitting up there on top of that big uh two-ton dually um, chevy truck there it's they they used to sit in the bed of this thing full of diesel and one full of gasoline and run up and down these dirt and gravel old roads in south central kansas harvesting wheat so this old girl never really had an easy life um, but we're getting her cleaned up and she'll run for another 50 odd years i'm certain of it i keep telling my son that you know father-in-law asked me do you want to sell it or anything like that and i and i tell him well terry my coffin will fit right here between the wheel wells. <laughs>